Okay, there we go. Anyway, it has two lines on this side, which would be more towards the passenger side. I'll try to get some light in here for you. Uh, this is going to be a bad video. Anyway, there's one of the lines. Kind of in the center of the screen. Just below the plastic. And then uh, right above it, we have another line. And then there's also, uh, this might be kind of difficult as well, bear with me. If I can get a good angle. There's two lines directly on top of it. I don't know how well you can see that. The green and the clear. I get this thing dropped down. I'll show you another piece of that. But let's go ahead and look at this one here. It could actually sit like this in the truck. The green and clear lines would take place of these. And there are the two lines on the passenger side of this uh, master cylinder. And I've already uh, evacuated all the fluid I can through the wheel cylinder. Try to make this a little less messy in the cab of the truck anyway. Okay, and that would be the removal of it. Let me uh, pause this for a second. Get a few things loose and I'll uh, get the top side of those. See what kind of clamps we're working with and everything else. All right, back to it. I got, oh, sorry, I just broke the video up. Anyway, there's the two lines. One out, one not. There's still two lines on top. We're gonna go ahead and get to these four bolts, one in each corner of this thing. Pop those out and uh, try to attempt to keep this moderately clean. Okay, back at it. Now we got a lot clearer shot. You can see those lines looks like just the pinch clamps on this side right there in the center. It's one of the existing old brake lines. And we've got all our bolts off. I slightly just moved that metal flat bracket right there with the two holes in it. Just kind of pushed it up out of the way. There is a bolt here. Let me get some light in there. That one right there is a pain in the butt. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, uh, long story short, it's ready to pop out. I did pull off the bottom piece of the steering column. We're loose. We're gonna work that out. Let me uh, pause this for a second. I'm gonna get those lines accessible. All right, here we go. We got that unit out. Trying to get a better shot here for you. Right there. Four bullet holes. Or bolt holes. My bad. Anyway, here is our uh, old master cylinder. I went ahead and had a pinch clamp here, pinch clamp here. The bolts that hold it to the firewall, or the uh, booster, are 12 millimeter nuts for them. These two lines for the brakes are 10 mil. 10 mil. They didn't feel like they were torqued on too tight either. Just a healthy snug. And uh, yeah, these two pinch clamps, these two lines, I slid them both off. Other than that, we got a perfect match. And uh, we're going to attempt to uh, bench bleed this a little bit like you normally would. But this isn't the regular master cylinder. It doesn't have a reservoir. It's uh, built into the dash. So we're going to give it a shot. And uh, let me pause for a minute. Okay, we got it back in. There are four bolts. There are two lines. Sorry, kind of close for the focus. And then up above on top. Uh, oh, there you go. There's a line right there and a line right behind it. Both pinch clamp. Got her back in. We'll go ahead and fill our res back up. Give this bad boy a good bleed, get all the old fluid out, and see where this goes. 
All right, back to it. We just topped off our fluid reservoir. Did a bench bleed on the master cylinder. I'm gonna have my assistants here <laughs> pump the brakes. We're gonna start off in the rear section as uh, normal. Rear passenger. <coughs> We're gonna bleed the uh, brake calipers. Uh, and like I said, that'll be a pattern right rear, left rear, passenger front, and then uh, driver front last. That should get everything out. And that's basically what we do.